Hi, I'm Layla Renner, and I am the co-president of Ocean Club, and I was in marine bio and oceanography taking care of the oxalotos last year. We are in Whittier, Alaska right now. We are cleaning up trash on the beach. We are supposed to go out on a boat, but it is windy really bad. Oh, my name is Frank. We are cleaning up a beach. Trash, plastic, stuff that is really bad for the environment, that deteriorates really slowly. We have a guy coming in that's gonna turn it into usable lumber for low income housing, which will be really good because the lumber market is really high right now. My name is Patrick Simpson. I uh, own a company called Alaska Plastics Recovery. We convert waste plastic into recycled plastic lumber. The process is to collect the plastics, grind it, extrude it into a form, wait for the form to cool, pull out the final product, and then sell it. We call our final product, the recycled plastic lumber, grizzly wood. When we were in Whittier, we collected plastic and other ocean wastes that had accumulated on the beaches. So, in general terms, there was trash on the beach and we picked it up. The amount of trash we picked up while we were in Whittier counted for 255 pounds in about half a mile of beach, picked up amongst 35, 40 students um, over a 90 minute period of time. This is a beach that's way inland. And so to find this much trash on a beach that far inland, inland waters, is pretty surprising. It's, it, I think it's, it illustrates just how much marine debris there is on beaches across the United States, across the world. My name is Katherine Walker. I um, teach at Diamond High School. I teach oceanography and marine biology and an unmanned aviation science course and Project Lead the Way Engineering Essentials. On Wednesday, we took a premier Alaska tour bus to Head of the Bay Beach in Whittier. And there were 39 Diamond students and we went with a Forest Service representative and the, um, the owner of Lazy Otter Charters visited us with hot chocolate. So it was a lot of different people together. And we were with Patrick Simpson with um, PKS Consulting. I think there are students and um, companies doing this all around the world. I think we're just one small group that's, um, that's performing beach cleanups. Um, and it's just an incredible thing when groups do it. So if, if other um, students are thinking about it, if classes are thinking about it, I highly recommend it. Um, because it's a way to start to fix a global problem and help students be empowered and start to see themselves as change makers. Um, so definitely I would recommend it.